Again, you can still see that blanket of heavy haze just hanging over the Pikes Peak region from the wildfires. Meanwhile, hundreds of runners are now making their way up America's mountain for the annual Pikes Peak Marathon. But lots of dedicated athletes will still take on this challenge and the first waves uh, have already begun at 7 this morning. News 5's Jessica Barreto joining us live from Manitou Springs with more on the race. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, it's a little quiet out here. Nothing compared to a half hour ago when hundreds of runners were running through here. Those were the first waves of runners participating in the Pikes Peak Marathon. Now, Renee, as you mentioned, the smoke is a challenge out here. Organizers have acknowledged that, but still hundreds of athletes came out this morning, like you said, very dedicated to completing this race. Now, I want to give you a look at those waves of runners that we saw. Racers began here at Manitou Springs City Hall. They will go all the way up up to Pikes Peak via Bar Trail. Now this is normally an all weekend event with the ascent happening on Sunday, marathon on Sunday. Now the ascent was canceled, but the marathon still going strong. So runners will go up and down the mountain. Now organizers say they did still have a lot of obstacles leading up to today. I mean, it, up, up until right now, uh, this thing could have been canceled. I mean, so it's, it's we wanna make sure everybody's happy. It went through a ton of checks. At the local level, the state level, uh, everybody's uh, approved our plan and, and we're going to see how it goes. And keep in mind, the Manitou Incline is closed today for this race. No permits have been issued for today. It is closed to the public and it will be back open on Monday. Now, a lot of safety measures also in place this morning. We had to undergo temperature checks. We had to undergo an assessment and then we got this wristband and everyone who is out here must have one of these to participate and even be out here observing. So a lot of safety measures in place. And the reason why these runners are going off in waves of 10 is that organizers want to keep a distance of at least 36 square feet around each runner, more than 800 of those total. Now coming up this evening, NB, uh, News 5's Mayo Davidson will take a look at how the smoke conditions and how just these conditions in general could be affecting runners this morning. So stay tuned for that. Always watching out for you. Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.